Yo, what is going on guys? It's Crypto TMG and finally we're back with another video. Now, I did actually make a setup video that I was going to put out for the Bentley around the Hungaro ring, but since then we had the update, so instead I decided to go straight to Imola and get back in the Bentley and really make a decent setup for this track. And um, I did do a 2.4, no, yeah, 2.4 hour race for ACR around here. Um, I didn't figure out the setup completely, but I had it to the point where it was nice and comfortable. If you guys watched that stream, it was definitely a laugh. Thanks for everyone who tuned into that stream. But anyway, I've managed to improve the setup. The car feels a lot better. I'm going to be bringing out quite a few setups for Imola because right now it's hot and everybody's on the track. And to be honest, since it's come out, I haven't really done any other track at all. So um, yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. Um, I will talk you through certain parts of the video as well after the actual lap so you guys can see what I did and where I felt like the time was and where there is possible time to gain more. Um, really, really important track to get a setup right because the curbs are killer around here. So anyway, I hope you guys do like the video is Crypto TMG and I'll see you in a bit. So now we can watch that back out of the last corner. You have to make sure you don't get on too much of the curb on the inside because you actually can invalidate your lap. And also there are little sausage curbs that can sort of disturb the acceleration. But we're going to get a good run down the straight. Um, quite integral to have a decent straight line speed around this track because it does um, hinder your first sector if you don't. But breaking in the straight line, really have to mash across the first curb. In the Bentley, you can get away with it in some of the sort of mid-engine rear engine cars it is a lot tougher to sort of throw the car over the curb but in the bentley it is okay not as good as the amg or maybe the aston but still very nice again through this corner the bentley does get a little bit sketchy take a little bit of curb not too much of it will spit you out straight into the gravel um sort of keep it in third gear around this corner because for me definitely is quicker but it is quite hard to keep the car on track when you keep it in third sort of a late apex going up the hill now and this is where to me the lap is sort of won and lost in these next few corners because you can find tons and tons of time um through these next few corners at the top of the hill you kind of want to get a little bit of the car over the inside curb again with the front engine cars they seem to be able to just take more of the curb without you know getting sort of disturbed as much as the, the mid to rear engine cars again downhill now for me the most difficult section of the track because the car can tend to get a little bit sideways and then when you're braking and turning for this corner when you put the nose in you can actually hit the curb and then it bounces you out invalidates your lap so here this is where the bentley really stands out really throw the car over the curb as you get into this section now all the way on the left hand side turn over the curbs you really have to commit to it early um, it's all about 
how much curb you can actually get away with man you have to learn the track limits for that particular part of the track because you can gain lots and lots of time now for me this corner right here is actually pretty difficult breaking downhill the Bentley seems to struggle a little bit um, so I tend to break quite early um, just to make sure I always get the nose in because as I said before the Bentley does seem to struggle in the downhill braking zone for some reason and again through the last corner you want to just make sure as I said before not hitting the curbs too hard run it all the way out on the curb on the outside be careful not to hit the gravel and then pretty much the least line of resistance to the line and just try and straight line as much as possible you can see we actually managed a decent time man 41-0 was not too bad I actually could have nipped into the 40 but I didn't get as good run out of the uh, the last corner as I would have wanted to but um the lap was still pretty good so I hope you guys do enjoy the setup uh you can see my sector times there um not all the best sectors on the same lap we definitely could have hit a one minute 40 but I felt as if you know the setup was good enough and yeah this is the first image setup I'm putting out guys so I hope you guys do enjoy this cryptic TMG like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace